Next up on the Sage 2022 Showcase, we have Sonic Outbound. This is a game that's still in demo mode. It is an original Sonic fan game being developed, and there's a lot, and I mean a lot, of story. I'm not going to read this all, but it's literally three giant paragraphs. I'll read part of it. This game is set one year after Sonic Mania's bad ending, where Robotnik had the Fat and Ruby and the Chaos Emeralds in possession. Before the events of Sonic Outbound, Robotnik eventually discovered the existence of a certain ruby called the God Ruby. Oh, wow. <laughs> Got a God bot this one, huh? Which contains so much power that as soon as it's created, it immediately breaks. That's not very godly. And the power gets absorbed by the nearest living being. All that is needed is extreme pressure with the Fat and Ruby, the Chaos Emeralds, and the Time Stones. Thus, Robotnik decided to retrieve the Time Stones and execute his final plan to become infinitely powerful. A year after the events of Sonic Media, Sonic decided to invite Tails and Knuckles, but Knuckles rejects the invitation to guard the Master Emerald, to vacations on Heaven's Shore, a pleasant beach he loves to relax in, that he's never mentioned before this, but loves to relax in. Suddenly, Robotnik appears and attacks Sonic, but little did Sonic know that it was only an illusion that also happened with all his friends as a distraction. I don't know what that sentence is trying to say. Sonic witnesses Amy, Mighty, and Ray being kidnapped when the second Sonic was going to hit Robotnik. There's a second Sonic. A fast creature flew to Sonic with Knuckles chasing it. Turns out this was Meta, who is working for Robotnik. Meta has stolen the Master Emerald. Sonic tells and Knuckles agreed to take separate paths. Sonic will retrieve the Time Stones. Tails will save Amy, Mighty, and Ray, and Knuckles will retrieve the Master Emerald. Soon they will discover a third foe, Fang the Sniper, who works for Robotnik as a mercenary. Also, yes, Sonic made that to set... All that to separate Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. This game was also meant supposed to be a prequel to Sonic Adventure, even though if it would be revealed at the end. But the game contains modern-like stuff, like an E-series prototype, an A-carry prototype, a behemoth, and robotics starting to wear military clothes during the final story. <laughs> There's a lot of fan fiction going on here. Uh, in this demo, you have five lives to defeat demo versions of some of the game's bosses for each story except Knuckles, because I have no idea how to imagine all these meta-bosses. Good sign when you're developing a game and you're like, yeah, but for that character story, I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. <laughs> like, like, good. This chart shows which zones have each boss. There was a chart. <laughs> Honestly, though, the presentation of this tile screen looks pretty dang good. Um, this game was the, kind of hard to run, though. It wanted to keep throwing an internal exception, except for when it didn't, and thus decided to run. Which is nice of it. I appreciate that. I'm glad that it did eventually. But anyways, let's, let's check this out. Of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. Are you going to pop up intro screen, or are we are we at an impasse here? I'll press, I'll, I'll, it's fine, I'll press it for you. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. We're trying to reach a partner over here, but we need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether it's a lurk or a talk, think about doing so. It does make a big difference, and we'd honestly love to have you. Also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. And I have a merch store now if you want to buy some cool items. Go check it out. I'll check out all the links in the description. With that being said, though, there we go. Let's, let's start up. I think this is only keyboard. So be it. Oh, yeah. How was the volume, everyone? I, put, I guess everything's at 81%. Was that good? Let me, was the volume okay? Like when we heard the tile screen? I presume so. Let's start. Choose the character. I'd like this character. I'd like that character. I prefer that character. Yes. Heaven Shore Act 2. Okay, sure, let's start with that one. Oh no. The moment I started moving, I realized something. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. It's boss rush. How do I jump? Okay, there we go. Found the I found the jump. Yeah, this runs like shit. This is using an old version of G-Mate. I think. Which, uh... Do you want me to Tells attack him? I guess I can. I guess I can. There we go. Oh, it's actually really easy to do that. <laughs> He's shaking he around the missile ship. Yeah, so this is, uh, it's a little choppy. This 
These remixes are trying to go very hard, though. Yeah, this is running on an old version. That's why I also had to manually capture this. Okay, Casino Night? Sure. This is, uh, yep, it's, it's what you expect. Actually, wait, hold on. I, I can't, I can't see what it's selecting. Okay, now I can. Okay. Oh, missiles. Oh, I would like one of those rings, please. I like how they all just abandon me at the same time. <laughs> I love the realistic explosions. Everybody else like those? They're very good. This fucking hell. Okay, I think the volume is a bit loud. Dude! You guys gave a bad opinion earlier, clearly. Well, it's okay. I'll just bounce around and change the volume while I do so. Definitely avoiding all attacks. Okay, fuck you. I almost did, though. <laughs> can, can tells win by doing absolutely nothing. Um, there, is it better now? Happy? Ow. What is this song? It sounds familiar. Volume is good now. Okay, good. I need that. Thank you. Oh, okay. Fucking hell. This is a very exciting boss fight. I just have to hop in there and hope he gets hurt. Oh, I... Okay. Oh, Tails, you look so surprised. <laughs> he felt he like jitter. He felt. Did you see how he? God damn it! I don't know if you noticed, but wait, am I just running up the ceiling? Uh, hold on. I sure am. At least Tell seems happy about it. Yeah, this is well made. <laughs> wow, shocking! The game that has a weirdly fan fictiony flow to it is maybe not the best. I mean, there's an a there was an attempt. Wait, hold on. Oh, come back here. No, uh, okay. Hold on a second. I just realized something. No, I can't hurt on my tails. Okay, never mind. No, it really is just RNG. Uh, <laughs> this is not fun. I guess I'll just stroll. <laughs> These explosions, though. I just realized the best way to deal with the missiles is to leisurely stroll. Oh, okay, that's nice. I like how I <laughs> took damage, but immediately got my rings back. All right. The fact the game doesn't have all of its frame rate because it's running on a shitty engine is also not helping. Now, again, just to say, G-Mate is not shitty, but this version is. Well, it's, this version's outdated, so it's not running as well on our computers. That's what I would probably say about it. Look, I finally did damage, guys. It really is absolutely just RNG. App, just nothing but RNG to do this. There's a bomb stuck out there. Do 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 do. Tails has the best boss fights, dude. Do 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 do. I didn't want to say anything mean when the when the giant's description of a story like made me wonder what was going on because it's like giant description of a story, man. I win. Wow, even he knew the boss was... Oh. <laughs> oh well, we're all right. Slide victory. <laughs> Where are you going? We. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Forest Dot Act 2, okay. Oh, I missed the rings. Wait. I'm fine. <laughs> I have to make sure I hit him when he doesn't throw a bomb, that's all. Easy. Uh, he's back to the missile thing again. Uh oh. Right in the butt. <laughs> yeah, you could always tell... Here's the thing, this engine isn't bad. It's just... There's quite a few Sonic engines where if misused, they're, they're not... Oh god. If misused, bad things happen. I guess, oh, I can just bounce off the top of him. I'm pretty sure that's not how Tails is supposed to work, by the way. I'm pretty sure if... The, the thing about attacking enemies while flying as Tails is that you have to hit them with your... You, you have to helicopter play them. But this Tails can just hit Knack anywhere. I can barely get hyped. We're, getting, we're actually going up to the top of the platform. I am dead. Hey, what? What? I don't know what's. I don't even know what's happening when I'm off screen. I will say this though: Tails moves very sluggishly in the air in this, in this particular. I can't drop down faster either by holding down. Some games let you actually leave your flying mode, which is really cool when, when a game lets you do that. Whoa! Whoa! I don't know where I'm going. Did I just find a, a, an exploit? Not, not really, but... I went... I guess. <laughs> Tails is like... Yay, I won! I know I'm over a bombless pit I was flying up towards, but time to victory pose! <laughs> Yay, dead! Oh, now it's a submarine. Okay, well. Um. I have this hunch that if I just do this. Oh, Press the advantage then. I win? I think I won neck. Give up! Give up! You're in the wall! Right, um, now what? Oh shit. You managed to launch a missile still. Actually, that might be a good thing. Oh, am I supposed to, like, drill him? I think I'm supposed to, like, drill him. I think, I, I think that's what they want me to do. Uh, excuse me, I want those rings. Oh, wait, hold on. Does he, does he follow me? That's ideal if he does. Oh, excellent. There, is this victory? Is this winning? I don't actually know what the objective is here. Oh, am I supposed to make the torpedoes go into him? I'm not nearly maneuverable enough for that, I don't think. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, I can, actually. Oh, God. Wow, the maneuverability is very shit, so I didn't think that was actually possible. <laughs> he just threw up hit himself there. I mean, if you want it, buddy, it's fine. It's up to you. Wait, am I dropping multiple rings despite how many I might have? Interesting. I always drop three rings. I guess he couldn't program an exact number of rings for the submarine for some reason. 
So as long as I have at least one ring, I can always get more. This fight is great. This is <laughs> I love when he, I love it when Knack just hits himself. That's the best part. Yeah. Knack is so excited to get into the way of his own missile. Also, apparently I take damage when I'm coming into contact with him, but I don't actually lose rings. I don't know, man. This is a weird fight. Okay. Now that I understand it, I can't really lose, though. There we go. <laughs> I, I, I have expected Tails to just fall out of the sub in his victory animation. I'm kind of surprised he had the self-control not to this time. <laughs> and then start drowning. Techno Turret Act 1, alright. <clears throat> I play as Sonic now, what the hell? Okay. Why does this song sound slightly familiar? <laughs> that was a fight, I guess. I mean, it definitely could have killed me, but that was just a fight. Ice cap act. Where are we going? What is the flow of this game? I know this is like a vertical slice, but. Oh! Hi, that was fair. How you doing? Ow. That's fine. Tells you need to like do more than crouch. Good work. I'll just hang back and wait for a ring. Oh, that money comes back. There we go. It's one of those all scrolls where if I just take my time, I can always get a ring. Okay. Stop. <laughs> stop! S sudden speed boost? What about the sudden stop at the end? Alright. Launch face zone. Wait a minute. This is that other soundtrack. I'll say this, I don't care for the alternate soundtrack, the non-Michael Jackson copyright soundtrack. I don't like it for most stages. I do like it better for Launch Base Zone, though. Tails is bored of your airship. Alright. Hmm. There's a little planet over there. I think that's what it's called. Am I supposed to be attacking this back? Or... I guess so. Oh, I bet... Okay, I think I understand. <laughs> I just, like, avoided that by the edge of my seat. Alright. Okay, so I think, I think what I'm supposed to be doing is... Yeah. Pull. Oh. 
So is Dak driving or something? Like, why is he getting music? Oh god, I got hit by that. Cool guys don't move for projectiles. I am, I am, I am doing a, I'm doing a fuck sit. Leave me alone. Oops, I missed. I really do like Fox's uh, crouch animation. Well, I guess both Mania and Sonic 3. Because, I don't know, it's something about his tails moving all wavily while he just has does a little, does a little almost cat loaf sit. I appreciate that. It's just a good energy. Oh. It started blue that time. Okay. Yay! <laughs> I'm just gonna assume Nack was driving that. Or Fang, I guess he's called this one. Considering he had his music playing. <laughs> Didn't get to see him at any point, but alright. Volcano Volcanic Inferno, alright. Ah, oh, it's metal, okay. Hello. Oh, I know exactly what you're doing. Rude. Wait, I can hit him when he's just spinning? Interesting. I didn't think that would work, but alright. Is this his Metal Sonic music? Because I don't recognize it. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, win. Oh wait, she's still attacking me though. I don't trust this. <laughs> right. I'm surprised how many levels there are technically. Oh, my rings. Ow. Actually, not really owl though. It's one of those owls that doesn't hurt. I guess colliding with him is perfectly safe. Do it at all, do it at any, whenever possible. It gives me iframes without hurting me. I mean, come on. Fang, you're off screen. <laughs> yeah, I just want to collide with him. Well, not. Ow. There seems to be ambition here, but there's not really direction, is there? Oh, okay. I guess we're still fighting. Uh, it, it was exploding, I thought we were done. <laughs> Actually, Tails having a dog fight with another biplane is a kind of cool idea. Or seaplane, rather, I guess, technically, is what he has. Easy. Ray. This just makes me go hot. My stream just downgrade. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I guess your internet went bad. Internet has a shelf life, after all. That's why you see so much poison. <laughs> Meat jank game. I guess so? I mean, it, it has ideas. But I get- I very much get the impression of this has ideas but not direction. Like the- 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 I, That description I read, you guys. The sage description for Sonic Alpha. That wasn't all of it. Well, it was the main part of the story, but... It also presented this giant chart. Like, this giant chart. I, I, I think I could put it on screen. Hold on. We're only looking at credits, so I may as well. Like, it showed this giant chart of all the characters at all their levels. 
I probably can't zoom this in enough for you guys to read it all, but... Everybody starts at Heaven Shore, then Sonic goes through Sunset Park, Starlight, Virtual Engine, uh, Tails goes through Procedure Night, Forest, Dawn, Aquatic Ruin, Knuckles goes to something, Wacky Merchants, Relic Ruins, and then they all do Tackle Turret, and then Sonic goes to Pillow Park, Marble Zone, Endless Trench, Time Palace, Tails goes to Ice Cap, Launch Base Zone, Volcanic Furl, Eggshell, uh, Knuckles goes to Egg Garden, Pipe something, Vibrant Zone, Sky Sanctuary, then they all fight the Meg Behemoth and do Rubble Puff, Tropolis. Do you realize how many fucking zones that is? That's ridiculous for any fan game. If you're not aware, let's see here. 9, 10, 11. I'm just going to count unique zones. 24 zones. 24 zones! Sonic 3 and Knuckles wouldn't dream this. <laughs> I was like, why did it freeze? Um, yeah, okay. Well, that, that, you know, that's why. That's why. <laughs> what a way to end the credits. Aaron, next up too, is Stigma Bitch for Obsy Music Box. Aaron found a code. The sound is played, and player life. If sound is played, send player life. Sound is played, jingle drowning. What, what does drowning have to do with this? Ignore. Okay. Continue to ignore. Unknown variable and jingle drowning. Yeah, that's fine. Ignore. Okay, ignore. Ignore. Ignore, 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 ignore. It's really concerned about drowning. Okay, we're just gonna hold down the enter key until you're done ignoring things. It's still, it's throwing multiple error, it's throwing error after error right now. Abort then, fine. Kill yourself, I guess. It's the only thing I could do otherwise. Ah! Uh, yeah, ambition without direction. Sculpt without polish. This is this is going to be a disaster. Unless this guy pulls shit together. The code was drowning. I mean, I'm not really surprised. It's probably being sort of abused running through this. Also, I'd like to note that was just one of three characters, so let's go to the next character. Will it- will the next character be- WHY ARE YOU IN THE CORNER NOW?! One moment. Just- just a second. Oh, because Auto Detect finally picked up on it for some reason. And Auto Detect is- and being that this is an old engine game, it's it's doing the thing where it displays a giant black screen except for puts the game in the corner. That's a very whenever you see that, you can basically guarantee that whatever I am playing is running in an old engine. Like years back engine of some sort. Because that's how things capture if they're an older version of Um Direct X, basically. Um, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> how about the Nux? What can he do? Alright, Relic Ruins. I mean, I like some of the art, by the way. I don't know if it's, like, taken from things, but, like, this is a pretty- Like, for instance, right now, this is a pretty cool mix of Marble Garden Zone and, uh, original art. Like, it has Marble Garden Zone vibes, but it's not Marble Garden Zone. So, like, I visually like what they're doing. The volcanic level Tails was on was cool, too. Also, if I don't immediately rush into the boss, we can hear the level music a bit, too. Is this original, or is this taken from something? I've never heard this song. I vibe it. I vibe with it, though. I like the little- I like the little bubble city on the right. Do you see that over there? Like, there's- this is good details here. I- I don't think this guy has terrible ideas. I just think he has too many of them. This project will never get off the ground because he's got too many ideas, too much he wants to put into this. And it's not polished. It's running on an old version of g Made Engine, and yeah. Like, there is potential. He has creativity, but it needs better direction and polish. Oh, shit, I saw it. Wait a minute, I've seen this boss. This boss existed somewhere, didn't it? I feel like... Am I just taking the spring? Okay, sure. Ah, 
hell? Okay. This is a little harder than it may seem at first. Ow. You're supposed to use Nux Glide. Wow, that spring is a very sensitive point to hit. Damn it. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> that clutch, that clutch, like, home base slide that got me underneath the bomb. the hell? I had zero rings, mind. Oh, okay! Well, he did say he wasn't really fit- he didn't really know what to do with Knuckles, so I guess there's only one boss. Okay, well, I'm not gonna go through this, because we already know what happens when I do. Wait, can I just skip through? Oh, nice. Will it crash again? Was that a fluke? No, that was not a fluke. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not a fluke. It will do that. Wow. Good. Now I roll the dice of running the game over and over again until it decides not to have an unhandled exception, because that's what it does, I guess. Don't ask me, man. Either it works or it doesn't. See? Now it's working. I kind of don't want to know what arcane code this game is running on my computer when it starts up, considering how it behaves. I'm scared to think about that. Oh, by the way, since I figured out I can switch presentations on the fly, I have an idea. There may be a way. There may be a way to have both say, uh, to have both exploit run well and have the footage run well. There may be one way I can think of, but it would require me to do some setup, and I'm definitely not going to do it right now. If you know how I mentioned I have multiple scenes. For my streaming, I got my startup scene, I got my basic gaming scene, I got a white version that scene, I got uh, a, a, an art scene, I've got a poker roll scene, I've got a playing by the pound scene, I got a save scene, I got a be right back scene, I got an end slate scene, etc. Well, it might be possible to simply copy one of those scenes, make a new presentation file, and only have that scene in that one presentation file. So the entire presentation file, aka the entire load of XSplit for that load, is just one scene. So anytime I want to change scenes, I simply switch presentation files. It would be a little slower than simply switching scenes in a multi-scene setup, but it would probably both allow me to have a functional program and for you guys to have a very efficient recording. In fact, it might be the most efficient way of doing it because I'd only ever have one scene at all loaded in any capacity at one time. The, d the downside of that would be it'd take longer to switch seats. But if everything's running more efficiently in the first place because I did that, it'd probably be not that slow. So I think I'll do that. But I've, now, uh, granted, I have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. I got 20 scenes, so I gotta make 20 presentation files. I'll do that later. It's gonna take a little time. But, it's probably a good idea. The only downside is if I ever want to update a presentation file, if, if I ever want to update a scene, say I added something new to the scene, I'm going to have to update that presentation file each time. Granted, I don't think that will be too hard if I keep things organized correctly. So I'm going to try that out. We'll try that out next stream, in fact. Let's see, uh, Which, in this case, will be... Actually, it'll be Sonic for Tears. No, no, wait, this is Sunday. Tuesday stream will be more multiplayer on Fallout, so we'll see how it works then, I guess. We'll test it out, we'll see if it 
Did you guys have any, um... Oh, uh, story mode, I guess? Why am I getting two options with Sonic? Alright. Did you guys have any lag, any sort of drops of the stream when I switched presentation files earlier? I know it went to a black screen, but that was actually because it was on a black screen scene when I switched presentation files. That was just part of it. But I'm kind of curious, did you guys have any, any cut out for the stream? No? So, okay. So it wouldn't be disruptive to use the presentation file strategy then. Oh. Noted. Yeah? Oh, okay. This is an okay boss fight. It works. Hey, hey, J uh, Fox, real quick, dude. I think you're you're talking a bit too much more for a random stream, buddy. Ow. Yeah, this is not a place where we. I I I, I don't like having to say. Oh God. <laughs> what, what, what are my rings doing? <laughs> Hold on. I need those. Even the ring physics are not normal. Yeah. Um. Listen, we're we're, we're we are a weird furry community, so it's okay to knock weird furry stuff or bring up lore here and there if it becomes relevant for a joke or something, but. I don't allow RP in my chat. I've addressed this before. It's super cringe. Sorry, but like, no. Public RP is not allowed in my community whatsoever. If you want to RP with somebody, go ahead. That's your own prerogative, but don't do it in my community, please. And granted, by, by the way, little actions, that's fine. But like, when you're starting to like you get involved with it, please don't. I actually have a whole section of the rules dedicated to that. <laughs> the only reason I am able to make this community have silly furry things in it is because I keep them light, you know? The most involved we get for, like, more and bad stuff is playing by the pound, which it's okay to focus on it then. But I want this to be a community that actually has moments where they can where it can stop being furry now and then. Like, rather... It can be more casually furry rather than just always focusing on some sort of weird interest. It's good to have a balance, is what I'm trying to say. I think there's an awful lot of furries that don't know how to balance that sort of thing. So Mac is... I think I should just jump in place and wait for him to... Oh, okay. I guess I won. <laughs> Why did that take a minute? That is the most unenergetic finger waggle I've ever seen Sonic do. Like, Sonic's just like, yeah, no, don't... Nah, nah, nah. You're too slow, whatever. <laughs> what? What the hell was that? Okay, did you hear the sound effect? Did you hear that motherfucking looping sound effect of mine? Lion sound effect. I hate that. I, I despise the lion sound effect here. What a piece of shit. What?! I just stopped the place, okay. Okay, that lasted longer than I expected. Oh, now it moves while it, uh... That's dangerous. Well, 
Oh, we're dangerous. You know, they should make the hurt box actually hurt you. But when it's raining into you before the laser, it's just, I feel like it should still hurt you. It would increase the challenge a bit. Oh yeah, by the way, this just stops you. Look at that! If you don't jump, you just... You just run into it without hitting it. You gotta jump because this game is well designed. Like literally, it just acts as a wall if you just stay on the ground. That is still the least motivated finger wiggle that Sonic has ever done. <laughs> Virtual engine, okay. I feel like there's some legitimate effort for this. I just don't think it's well put together. What? Is this create object moto bug? Okay. Here it comes. It tried. Oh no, this one knows how to moonwalk! Still misses. Tells? Evil tells. This is when Tells gets bored all over again. The only other time that Tells has turned hostile towards Sonic. Because Tells was bored, you see. And while he may be a super genius, he's also still a kid. So a bored kid could get into some shenanigans. Gotta watch it. Tails wants to kill today. Ah, okay. This is kind of a cute idea, though. If it's a digital level and creating, like, a little bit of an enemy rush because instants create. I do like that. I feel like that could have more visual flair, though, like a mouse clicking and, like, pulling things in. Dragging and dropping the enemies in, that would be kind of cute. Just, like, dragging it off for screen and just placed. <laughs> so this fight has to be redone, I guess. I've learned my lesson of this fight. I'm just gonna grab a few rings and hope the tails is Wait, oh, that's right. Can I save a ring? Is that allowed? I don't think it is. Oh well. Why does this sound like a song from other RPG? Just make Tell's jump for me. I'm sure one of us will hit it. Just iframe it. There we go. Okay, when I noticed this level was called Pill Out Park, I was like, I bet I- I hope I can pill out, otherwise that would be a very sad name. You can. Oh, it's- it's the, uh... It's the, uh, Launch Base Zone Act 1 boss, but it moves now. Good for it. How do I hurt it? <laughs> oh, there's blue bombs for some reason. I see. Do, 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 do. It's gonna wait. There we go. I've, I've, I've lost Sonic, guys. All right, there he is. I found him again. Don't worry. He just went to get milk. Good fight. Honestly, though, these could be worse. I've seen worse. I've seen worse custom boss fights in 
Sonic games where it's like, look, it's Robotnik, and he moves around the screen in a preset pattern. I, I drew him, and he occasionally shoots a bullet. That's like, good work. Good fight. <laughs> this is still, these bosses are not the best, but they're also not the worst. There is at least design to most of them. Even if it, they break a little bit. <laughs> like, whatever I did with that, pushing him into the wall, that one, that one submarine fight. Okay, kind of curious what this song is doing. Don't give me that one. Oh wow, chili duck, okay. Sonic, careful there, you're gonna turn this into Sonic 2XL. Jeez, how many did he eat in like a short period of time? You know, it's kind of funny that Sonic is like super fit and fast, but like when it comes to chili dogs, he's just like, make me a mo motherfucking blubber mount for these chili dogs. Like seriously, his, I'm pretty sure he could get fat if there's enough chili dogs in front of him. I don't care how how fast his metabolism is. Chili dogs are high in calorie content. I'm very impressed how that lava waterfall is not moving. Okay, so this is a mix of the Angel Island Zone Act 2 boss and... Hilltop Zone? A little bit? I was about to say metabolism. He runs it off. I, I, what would it take to de to defeat Sonic's metabolism, aka make him gain more calories than he loses? I mean, obviously he's at an equilibrium. However he eats, he probably is the sort of person to eat a ton of food, though. Actually, because I actually know some people. By the way, look at Sonic's glove when he moves his hand back. There's a there's a texture glitch or a, a pixel glitch there. I actually have known people that, like, literally just fucking gorge themselves on their meals, but they got such a high metabolism, they stay thin. Oh. I don't know how I didn't hit the, the drill, but cool. Platform. Oh god. <laughs> Maybe don't use the platform unless I need to. Oh, well, I didn't... That's an unfortunate combination of events. I'm fine. It's fine. Just have to be careful. The thing I'm most scared about is staying on a platform when I don't mean to, and then I'm walking, and then I think it hurt. feel like that can very easily happen. Honestly, this is a very easy pattern, but... It comes at an angle that makes him hard to hit, while it makes him... It's a very aggressive angle, so even though it's simple, it's actually kind of hard to... Well, without rings it is, at least. Man, how many boss fights would I do differently if I didn't have rings? I know ring challenge is kind of a good idea for a Sonic game, though. Well, goodbye, I'm dead now. Oh, okay, it's fine. <laughs> I was like, well... Palace. Ow! How many of these boss fights do I just get hurt the moment I enter? Oh, okay. Heavy. Did the boy be stomped. What? Why is he red? Oh my god, what was that about? Is that a glitch or intentional? Well, I'm dead now. Wait, hold on. Wait, he just keeps encroaching, guys. Okay, I'm good. Oh, never mind, I'm dead now. 
He, he got the jumpies and I died. Seriously, those this, this intro missile is kind of a dick move. I'm gonna guess red mode means I can't hit him. Yes, yes I can. So when he randomly turns red, I am uh, going to take that. Oh god, not again. Alright, where are my lessons though? Aha! Oh. You know, he sh here's the problem. He should jump upwards and then down, but he goes down first. Oh god, I was supposed to bounce back there. At least I was hoping to. Yeah, I don't like the whole turning red and he and he hurts me thing. Because he get, he does it without a warning. He should flash first or something. Or does he only do it after getting hit? Oh, he only does it after getting hit. That's not that's not so bad. Actually. Oh god, the red thing, right. Oh god. Wait, what? Called up to this! Yay! You good there? Oh shit. Was that one last- <gasps> You fucker. Yeah, because I knew that was going to happen. Nice. Exceptionally. Also, I'm scared of the missile launcher because I don't know when he's shooting the damn thing. I guess I'll just attack whatever he's done with that. Still bullshit. Okay, we'll go over here this time. You know, visual conveyance, like, let me know, like, oh wait. You- WAIT! Are you- What? But- Yeah, fuck you too! He just- <laughs> I thought it was just, oh, okay, scripted situation where he breaks out, he breaks the right side of the floor, and then, I don't know, a new robot pops up there. No, he just goes towards you! And then the game crashed. You motherfucking asshole. That is so... <sighs> fool me, what's shame on you? It's fool me twice, shame on me? I don't know, man. Was that shame on me? Well, let me get the game started again. Since it also crashed to add insult to injury. Fuck you and fuck your existence. You don't get to play this game anymore because you died. Like, okay, thanks. So now I gotta get through the internal exception issue. Which is basically just, I'm going to start the game over and over again until I'm allowed to play it. By the way, we have to go through all of Sonic's previous levels before that, probably. I'm sure. Yep. Shut up. I don't care. Start. Start. Okay. Hi there, Yam. Let's speed run, shall we? I mean, I know how the bosses work at this point, so it shouldn't be that hard.
right, he did that last time. That surprised me that time, too. Oops. Jump. What? Exactly what about the top of him hurt me that time? Yep, okay, I was wondering if there was going to be invincibility after robotics defeated. No, of course not. Okay, how many bosses do I have to go through again? That was a pretty late rush boss, unfortunately, wasn't it? Thinking about it. I think he has iframes that I can't see, by the way. <laughs> so that's fun. It was more than four, unfortunately. We'll go through this as quickly as possible, but I think we have to actually beat six bosses. I think that was the seventh one, actually. So, oh well. If I had, if I had lost purely because of my own lack of skill, it'd be one thing. But if I could get two hits in there, I'd be so happy. I don't think it's possible though. is important. Yeah, it's it's the sound is just poorly placed. That's three of them. Unfortunately, some of them are kind of easy. And fast. So, see how quickly we can do it. Yeah, then we got the uh, silly boss enemy rush thing for the fourth one. Wait, it just occurred to me, you don't get rings to this, do you? I, I didn't even notice until just now. That's weird. I thought I had rings last time, but I guess not. Now I do. I guess that's how I had rings. Also, that's nine hits for for classic Great Hill Zone Eggman. Why nine? Unless I miscounted, but I'm pretty sure that was nine. I noticed that last time too. Like this sounds like more than it should be. 
All right, so that's the fifth one. Now we gotta fight the robot. Wait, was that the fourth one? That was the fourth one. Yeah, I think that was the fourth one we just fought. No, no, that was the fifth one. No, I'm bad at math. Shut up. Just keep hitting the tails, I'll handle the rest. Better him than me. Get him, Tails. Get him! Tails just keeps getting the bombs instead. There we go! <laughs> Tails got the last kill! Last hit. Good work, Tails. Now we gotta play the roller coaster one, yeah. See, this is this is boss number six, right? Oh. Oh, <laughs> I got it! I thought I didn't get it. By the way, what is this song from? It sounds familiar. I don't believe it's a Mania song, is it? it kinda has Mania energy, though. I, I, well, I lost Sonic. I, I actually lost Sonic. <laughs> No, there he is. <laughs> I found him just a little too late. There is nothing keeping you on screen. That was kind of funny way to die. That was kind of funny way to die, though. Hey guys, I'm back. Ah! <laughs> right when he gets back on screen. See, I don't know when I should uh, be jumping over those because I had no idea where I was. Going off screen is bad though, because I'm completely blind as to where the uh, projectiles are in relation to me, so. Obviously, that's not good. Oh no! Sonic also left! <laughs> looks like he kinda looks like he just crashed an Eggman. Everybody lost! <laughs> Yay! Celebrations. <laughs> now we got the, see what I mean? This is, yeah, it was like the eighth boss that I got stuck on, or that I died at. Oh no, no! Okay. Whoa! Holy shit! Alright, I'll take it. Okay, this time I'm not letting this boss screw me over. No matter where it's going, I'm going to go the- Obviously, I just need to spin dash across the screen, but wow, what a fucking asshole, though. No, it was actually the ninth boss! Because there's this one, too. I forgot about this. Oh, jeez. Hit him on the shoulder, that's where it works. Oh. If you miss, oh well. At least he doesn't throw- even if he threw a, a single projectile now and then, this fight would be actually a lot harder. So I'm glad he doesn't. Because while his pattern is exceptionally simple, it's at just the right angle to be really tricky to attack him back and, and dodge at the same time. Okay, now we're here. Now, we just need to not get cheap-shotted. By the way, he starts the fight with a cheap-shot rocket. 
ends the fight with a cheap shot insta kill. I'd like to point this out. Cheap shots to begin, cheap shot to end. If that even is the end. I mean, to be fair, this is a miracle fight because fuck you. Credit where credit's due. Of course. Lessons have been learned. Come on. Come on. Oh, no! Ah, jump! I didn't think he would do damage to me as well. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell! I thought- I kind of figured it was just- oh, that was the- LITERALLY THAT WAS IT! <sighs> I'm mad that I had to replay the entire boss rush just for that. And, you know, a game crash, because it's going to crash now. I actually thought there'd be a bit more. Don't you love it when you learn that because you messed up one thing, one small, minuscule thing, you gave yourself an extra 15 minutes of gameplay on top of something, and it was for nothing? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I presume that would probably lead into like a special, like a supersonic final boss fight or something. Alright, yep. Errors, errors. Unfortunately, I have to start up one more time. You know why? Because there's special stages. I don't know if I care, but I'll look at it real fast. I got to. Obligations. Start. Start, 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 start. God, so many minis. Okay. Special stage. Is this gonna be a good special stage? Or a bad one? Okay, we're doing Sonic CD style, looks like. Okay, how do I move? Oh, Alright, I see. I mean, it runs kind of slow. Please say this is still the jump button. Okay, like that. But actually, it running slow is not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, so this is just a linear platforming course with... Oh, I hate that! Do you notice how those platforms were angled? That actually pisses me off. Those jumps were harder than they looked. I like the music, though. Some of these jumps actually kind of scare me. The reason that was a bit of a slow loop is because this is running slow in general. Oh! <laughs> Did I just like stop for a second? I like let go for a second. Cinematic! Well, part of this is just... Oh no. It's hard to do small jumps. Wait, what? What's going on up ahead? You know, it's actually pretty hard to see the gaps. No! Yeah, fuck that. I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> fuck your special stages. They're too slow. And the angle's bad. It needs to be a little bit more bird's eye so I can actually see the fucking ledges. It's basically, like, so flat that it's barely possible to see where the jumps are. So, I'm not continuing that. Don't, don't mind me. I am satisfied. So that was Sonic Outbound. It's an interesting mess. That's how I define it. It, it shows, it actually shows a fair amount of creativity. But it also demonstrates how creativity alone doesn't make a polished game. You gotta balance a lot of things, including 
just the sheer amount of content. This also feels like one of those situations where, since so much content is planned, that also spreads thin the ability to polish what is there, right? So, good idea. I, I, I like the, I like the ideas presented, but they need far more effort, polish, a better engine, a better version. For God's sake, everyone! It's been four. No, this is my. Is this my fifth stage? Yeah, this is my. This is my fifth stage I've covered in a row. And I'm still seeing people use the same ancient engines for their fan games. Guys, there is, like I discussed in an earlier Sage episode, there are five million Sonic uh, game engines these days. Use something a little bit more modern. Something that actually runs well. This whole game has been running a little bit slow. It has bad performance, and it's simply because of the older engine being used. Guys, use a more modern engine that has, like, good performance and works with modern hardware well. Come on, guys, stop using these old engines. I know they're kind of cool in a way, but if you don't know how to optimize them just right, they're not good. They're not going to be a good choice for you to develop your game on. Stop it, guys. It's been five years that I've seen people use the same engines. There's, there's more current stuff, guys. Switch. Learn a new engine. Flourish. Let your game flourish. But I digress. That was Sonic Outbound. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I mean, I like boss rushes, even if they're a little jank. It's kind of fun. <laughs>